ファスト、ご期待にお答えいたします。敵の皆様、ご覚悟。Hello and welcome. Today we're in the tier 9 Italian destroyer, the Paolo Emilio. We're playing a match on the map Sleeping Giant, and since I spawned in the middle, I got to choose whether to go east or west. I decided to go west because I really like the big island next to the map border. Because that allows me to start a run and potentially surprise some enemy destroyers. The ships I'm most worried about are ships that have radar. Or hydro, mostly cruisers. So Prince Eugen is a problem. The Hindenburg's a problem. Everything else is probably more or less all right because they don't have like really long-range hydro. So the problem is if a Prince Eugen is around, I'm probably at risk of getting hydroed while doing the run-by. Okay, there's a Kitakaza going into the ACAP, but that's all right. We have a、uh, Saint Louis and、uh, a ZF6. So. Cruiser plus destroyer should easily defeat the Kitakaze. Meanwhile, I'm gonna advance on this side. Although a Pomon is a bit of a problem, we can technically still try to torpedo. Okay, Hindenburg, Vladivost. Oh, oh, a Fletcher. Okay, I'm gonna shoot, launch torpedoes, and hope that the torps hit her. Wow, 5k. Now I make a bit of a mistake here. I use my smoke screen, which is pointless because. My、uh, smoke detectability range is 3.5 kilometers, and I am too close to that Fletcher for that. Luckily, though, the Fletcher is gonna go down, even if she hadn't eaten that torpedo. She was down to like 4,000 HP already, so it doesn't really matter that much. But I should have saved my smoke screen until she actually went down, because it would have lasted longer. And oh my god, 6k damage! Damn, that's more than 10% of the、uh, Hindenburg's HP. Wow, that follow-up cell also probably did a lot of damage, but I can't advance over here anymore because I have used my smoke screen, and there are way too many enemy ships here to do a YOLO run without the smoke screen. So I'm just gonna have to back off and just wait until my smoke is up again in two minutes. I can obviously still use the big island to shell some enemies, although I suspect it won't be too successful. RPF is probably on the Vladivostok. I don't expect there to be another destroyer. Actually, let's count enemy destroyers. Yeah, we know exactly where all enemy destroyers are, so there's no worry about this side. I'm gonna torp in case the Vladivostok gets closer. Although I suspect it's not gonna work, but sometimes it can. Oh, never mind. I guess it doesn't even matter. Even if I were to torp her, it probably won't make a difference. I might as well take a few salvos with my guns. Because somebody's probably gonna finish her off anyway. Let's use speed boost because I am being shot at by the Hindenburg. So we want to go fast to be able to. Wow, I think the speed boost actually saved me from that salvo. Anyway, we're gonna get unspotted in a moment, but our guns will also be out of range soon. That is. Hmm. Wait. <laughs> What's going on in the A cap? So. Let me get this straight. We had a San Luis and a ZF6 against one Kitakaze, and the Kitakaze won against both of them. How? What? How did? Seriously, how did that happen? Okay. Anyway, I'll just go into a. The Kitakaze must be low HP. I should be able to win that fight, and I should be able to slip. Wait, can I slip through this? I should be able to. Right. Wait. Can I? So one thing you want to pay, pay attention to. So the Pomen is getting too close. I slow down because I look at the minimap, right? I look at the、uh, detectability circle, the 7.1, the blue one, and move it forward with my mind. And when the Pomen was in the earlier position, if I had just kept going in a straight line at full speed, I would have been spotted because the Pomen's position was inside that circle, and I would have been, you know. Spotted and then shot that. Not to mention the Kitakaze would know that I was coming. Although she's gonna know anyway because the smoke screen is, or sorry, the cap is gonna be locked. But that's something you're much less likely to notice that's happening compared to well, a ship literally showing up that you can see. So I'm gonna try to use my speed here while going in a straight line and hopefully be able to avoid torpedoes because the prediction line is gonna be too far forward for the. Kitakaze to fire the tarps, 
And there she is. Oh, 6k HP. Salvo number one. And the next one is gonna be enough, although she could have probably launched the torps on me. But we got her. Now we're gonna have to hide behind the island because of the Mogami and the Prince Eugen over there. Oh no! Paulo Emilio! No, 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 this is not good. I need to land these torpedoes. I have to land these torpedoes. Because I ran aground, there's no room for me to avoid torpedoes in return. So I have to land them. This is... Oh no, this isn't... Yeah! Yes! 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 That was, uh... Whew. That was pretty scary there. Because if that torpedo... If the Paula Emilia had been slightly off the mark, or if the torpedoes were slightly off the mark, then she survives. And she gets to torp me instead. And as you just saw, a single torpedo is enough to finish them. But I'm gonna get the cap from here, and I guess I'll just go back the way I came from, because I don't want to suddenly be ambushed by this Mogami or the Prince Eugen. I'd much rather go over there with the Vladivostok and the Poman. So, cap's gonna be mine in 10 seconds. Oh, Mogami actually left. I guess I could have advanced forward then. But I mean, battleships are always nice to you all, alright? So, let's do that. I think we've won the game, though. I mean, look. Nine versus, what is that? Six? <laughs> we have 50% more ships. Although, maybe coming over here wasn't the greatest idea. Because the Pumman has left, and the Vladivostok's dead. Obviously, we don't want Aeolo the Hindenburg, because that would never work out, so... We'll just have to go back the way we came from. Oh, come on, is the Pumman also gonna be taken out before I get there? Yeah, looks like it. Damn. Well, at least we'll be able to take the big cap, right? So, there's at least that. Actually, wait. So, RPF is pointing straight forward. It'll have to be the enemy destroyer. But I don't think it matters that much. I guess if I find her, then I'll be able to fight her. But if I can't, I could just shell the Hindenburg too, if I really wanted to. Because I think chances are that she's going to be way more busy with the Shikishima. Torps, but luckily they were of no consequence. Oh, there's the Benham. Well, she did decap me a little bit, but that's alright. I'd really like to take another shot on the pendant bug, but I think my turret traverse takes a while. <laughs> and uh, they only have three ships left. Maybe we can still fight the Benham. Maybe. Come on. I guess she would come around this way, although she's gonna run into our Benham. Then again, our Benham might just go down, because theirs does have the support of a Prince Eugen and potentially the Bismarck. But. Our Benham has the support of me, and quite a lot of ships behind me, apparently. Yeah, goodbye, Benham. Wait, Kitakaza killed the Benham? <laughs> what? She's like in B cap. Wow. But now I think I might as well just start shelling, right? It doesn't matter what happens now, it's an unlosable situation. And I can just start shelling the Prince Eugen and use my smokescreen if necessary. Then again, I have, still have 11k HP. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll have to use the smoke, because Bismarck's secondaries are gonna get annoying. She doesn't actually have to focus me or anything, they'll just be annoying and start dealing damage. Possibly knock out engines, guns, what, whatever. Well, I suppose not anymore though. Mmm, 6k damage. Can we get another one, please? Seven shell hits out of eight. That's some pretty good luck. Oh! <laughs> I didn't expect that I would be able to get that kill. <laughs> That's pretty good. So, in this match, we fought destroyers. We didn't YOLO a single battleship or even a cruiser. 
We only used our guns against cruisers and a little bit against battleships. Still, 85k damage. Sank four ships. Devastating strike. Kept two bases. Two torpedoes, even though we fought destroyers. 2386 base XP. That's a lot, actually, considering we didn't even break 100k damage, but that's what you get when you fight destroyers. Uh, how about of compliments? That's too bad. 26k to the power minute. That's basically all her HP. 19k from the torpedo. These torpedoes do pack a punch. So, captain skills. Incoming fire alert. Last stand. Survivability expert. Concealment expert. RPF. Then, I like swift and silence. Because it makes your ship go really fast. Although, I think it's probably not a good skill to take. Because I think this is why I keep sailing out of my own smokescreen. Because I end up going too quickly. And because of that, maybe this isn't a good choice. If I didn't take this, obviously I'd go for Adrenaline Rush, right? And then one extra point would probably go to Preventative Maintenance. Or something along those lines. Then I also like Consumables Enhancements and Grease the Gears. This is a nice skill to have because of the terror traverse issues the ship can have and obviously you like having a longer smoke screen upgrades reload a concealment rudder shift you could go propulsion but i don't think you need it because uh well you have a pretty good engine boost then here i take torpedo tubes if i didn't take grease the gears i'd go for main battery modification too because this also gives the same uh, turret traverse and obviously engine room or Engine boost modification and then main arts modification one. I like the ship. It's really fun to play. It's one of the more fun ships in the game and she's kind of unique in this sense. Like really enjoyable to me. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support. And I hope I'll see you guys next time.